I need this. This is perfect. Oh, okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, I decided to. Oh my god! Woohoo! Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. I don't really ever vlog Sundays, um, especially out of quarantine because I'm just not home and it's like church stuff. Also, my favorite product to ever exist. I talked about it in so many videos, guys, but like, just like you'll see why I love it because it just makes my skin glow. It's also sunscreen. Um, anyways. I'm gonna vlog my Sunday for you guys. Update, the stay at home ban has been lifted in Texas. I'm still gonna be like, why is this down again? Um, I'm still gonna be like social distancing and staying at home and like not going out. Essentially, um, restaurants and stuff can open to a 25% capacity. And then May 15th, we do our check and then it would go to 50%. I don't know guys. Like, I personally am not super into the idea, but I'm gonna be staying at home. I am just like seeing my family a little bit more. My cousin is moving, she like, needs to come over here today, so she's gonna be here with me today. Um, she's been quarantining for two months by herself, like, so yeah. But it's like completely legal here and I'm not just like having a bunch of random people over. It's just like I'm seeing my cousin who's also been quarantining. Um, who also needs to come here today because she's moving. It's a whole thing. So we're gonna be laying out on the rooftop, which is fun um, She literally just lives like down the street from me um, Normally we'll be seeing each other a lot. I'm getting ready for my really cute Sunday I'm gonna go do my little study downstairs and then we are going to be spending some time on the rooftop Guys, I've been trying to lay out. Where the heck is my brow gel? Oh Found it I've been trying to lay out. This is like day four of laying out. Um, I have okay, guys, I'm like literally gonna lose my mind. I have nothing to show for it, but a sunburn, absolutely no tan lines, nothing. So I actually ordered um, Savon Ayla's like gradual tanning lotion. Obviously I could self tan, but I really wanna see if I can get a natural tan and like, it's just not really working in my favor. I was FaceTiming TK the other day and she said, you really need to get this, it's amazing. So whenever I get that, I'll give you guys a little life update on how I'm liking that, all that stuff. But I'm also cooking a lot because I have like way too much fruit in some of my house today. So um, I also got a blender. I was really excited to go back to making my green smoothies that I was making last summer, but they didn't give me mango. So I'm, guys, I ordered my groceries and the two things that I was really ordering for were my like frozen mango and chameleon cold burrow and neither one of those came so it's really upsetting but uh we'll survive this is my everyday get ready with me my sunscreen the glow screen the best thing ever lip balm brush my brows out and that's it i have been wearing my hair in claw clamps um like non-stop i might even make an igtv video on it it's really easy but i've been getting questions and stuff um but I've been wearing it in claw clamps like legit non-stop and it's just been amazing. The top of my scalp is sunburnt, so it's starting to peel, which is just absolutely incredible. You can't really see. Um, okay, so my outfit is so cute. It's from Kill It Eyes on Instagram. I'll link it just below, but tie-dyed Sophie shorts and a crew. Guys, I literally just want this in every single color because I will actually wear this every single day this summer. All of you guys who have been sending me like tie-dye sets, thank you because I live in them and I'm obsessed. Here's probably a better view of it, but... Guys, it's so freaking cute. Like, also, look, I've been laying out for four days, still so pale. If any of you guys are just, like, never naturally tan, give me your tips. But I might just, like, pretty soon give up. Who knows, guys? We'll see. I've been using canning oil and everything. When's it gonna happen for me? <laughs> That is how much produce I have right now. It is really something. So I'm gonna have to make a lot of that today because it's gonna go bad. But anyways, like I said, my groceries didn't come with frozen mango, which like honestly really makes this smoothie. I love the tropical bub. Okay, long story short, I don't have the mango. So the smoothie is just not as good. A true green smoothie. I guess this is also kind of like a what I eat today vlog just because I am um, cooking a lot today, making a lot of food. So you guys will see. I'm also gonna make my spicy basili, John and Benny's. You guys have already seen it in a past vlog, but I'm gonna film it for IGTV and make it tonight. I cannot wait. It's like so freaking good. And I got even better food silly to make it with. But guys, cooking is like my greatest passion at this point. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna put in some cinnamon 
and honey just to make it sweeter but that is my plan i also have a like metal straw i'm like will that help at all i don't know i like green smoothies like i like really i'm weird i like really green stuff guys my outfit is like oh, so cute and perfect for sundays so anyways here's my smoothie all right it's like fun I definitely needed ice in there and I totally forgot ice now that I think about it. I haven't made a smoothie in so long. I remember last summer when I made a smoothie every single morning. Anyways, I also don't have my cooker, so I'm gonna make hot coffee. I have the Keurig, like the small one. My espresso, my friend, is gonna send me from my house in LA. Um, but this one takes about two minutes to brew. I'm just using, I really like Colombian coffee. Um, I mean, these are just cake It's not true Colombian coffee. I just mean anything that is of Colombian coffee, I'm like sold, you know? See, I can press up because it's not gonna um, like brew right away, but one time I actually forgot to put, actually twice, I forgot to put a mug, this is clean, under, and so there was coffee legit all over. I don't even, really embarrassing guys. Also, I ordered actual cute fruit bowls from CB2 that will be coming, because they were actually on sale. Just one. I got a few things from my kitchen, which I'm really excited for. I've also been loving this milk. I've actually been not been drinking my coffee back and been putting this in. It's so good. Oh, okay. I definitely put in way too much. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to do my morning Devo. I'm actually going to go through a little bit of it with you guys who have been really requesting this. This is one of my favorite books. It's just like the best diva book i think i would ever recommend so i'm gonna do it drink my coffee oh my gosh this is so full drink my smoothie that i really just am not thrilled about um and then i'll go through a little bit of it with you guys okay i switched to the side of my table because the fan in the background guys i honestly i mean i'd have to hire an electrician i have to hire an electrician so like obviously i can't really do that right now um but it's just gotten to the point where I just stare at this fan that I hate all the time, 24-7. So anyways, I might have to find new light fixtures that are hopefully not that expensive. I bought a washer and dryer last night. Tell me why these things are like $2,000. Guys, I literally, oh my gosh, also other life update. Um, I bought stuff to seal my garage floors because I am doing stuff with that downstairs and basically just making that another floor. Um, and my stepdad is going to seal it for me. I don't know if that's confirmed, but that's my plan. He's already done it and it's actually gonna save because getting your garage to seal the floor, it's like $2,000. Like it's really expensive. So I thought I had to do that, but it turns out I could just buy the kit at Home Depot and he could do it. So that's my little home updates for you guys right now, but I can't really keep spending money. Like I cannot afford to like buy all these light fixtures right now because I just am like, I would love, I think, I think for my house, and I think that money grows on trees or something. We'll figure that out. But I have my coffee. I finished my smoothie. I actually really like the smoothie. I know I was kind of talking like crap before, but it's actually pretty good. Oh my gosh. I thought that I left my lip balm upstairs. I didn't. What a good surprise. Okay, so I wanted to go through, um, like my little Devo for the day. So this is just like what I do every single morning. I know a lot of you guys do like Sosism or, um, whatever that might be. And a lot of you guys like share your morning readings, whatever. I share these on my Instagram story. So many of you guys are like, can you share more of this? And Keaton recently went through her Diva in the morning, which I loved in her vlog. So I wanted to do that really quickly. Um, the one that I'm reading right now. So I have been doing New Morning Mercies, which I really do love that one, but I felt like I really just wanted to do Draw the Circle, the 40 day prayer challenge Devo. This is my all time favorite. Like there's just not a Devo that beats this one. This one's a little bit longer than New Morning Mercies. New Morning Mercies is about a page. On my iPad at least, I don't have the physical copy. This one is about like three pages a day. What I really like about this one, it's Mark Batterson and he kind of ties in um, like history as well. It's really cool. It's literally like the best devotion book ever. So, we're gonna go through it, but I'm only on day two. I've gone through this before, and I, like, literally loved it. Um, my friend, Amanda Madhu, shout out Amanda, um, got, like, so many of our friends on this, probably, like, a year and a half ago, and then the more I, like, posted about it, the more I realized that, like, every single person ever has read this book, and they're, like, obsessed with it. So, if you guys are looking for a nice Devo, 
um, especially one that you feel like if you need like a little something more than just like a one page a day Devo. Obviously this is a little bit longer so I'm only gonna go through like certain parts of it just cause it's a few pages and I'm not gonna read like four pages, you know? So day two was established by God. The verse is Proverbs 69, in their hearts humans plan their course but the Lord establishes their steps. Is it Khloe Kardashian who said the, <laughs> I'm like quoting the Bible and quoting Khloe Kardashian but she said um, something about like, we plan God laughs. Is that not Khloe Kardashian? It says it may feel like you're sitting still right now, but you are not. You are on a planet that is rotating on its axis at a thousand miles per hour. Like clockwork, it makes one full revolution every 24 hours. And if that isn't amazing enough, planet Earth is moving around the sun at speeds approaching 67,000 miles per hour. So the next time you feel like you've had an unproductive day, remind yourself that you did travel more than 1.5 million miles through space today. Now let me ask you a question. When was the last time you lost sleep because you were concerned about the creator keeping his planets in orbit? When was the last time you got down on your knees at night and prayed, Lord, thanks for keeping the planet rotating. I'm sure if we'd make the full rotation today, but I wasn't sure if we'd make the full rotation today, but you did it again. I'm guessing the answer to this is never. We don't doubt God's ability to keep the planets in orbit, but we have a difficult time believing he can keep our lives in orbit. You tell me which is more difficult, keeping the planets in orbit or determining our steps. The truth is, we already trust God with the big things. Now we need to trust him for the little things like healing cancer, getting us out of debt, helping us conceive, or helping us find our soulmate. I'm certainly not suggesting that any of these situations are small. They are giant mountains to us, but prayer can turn them into molehill. Molehill. Prayer can turn them into molehills. God is not great just because nothing is too big for him. God is also great because nothing is too small. The sovereign one cares about every detail in our lives. Which is like really encouraging. I was like, yep. Yeah. Good point. You have a good point there. He's an author and he was talking about divine assignment. And he's like, I have a handful of prayers that I pray all the time because of the frequent repetition I call them my prayer mantras. One is that God will put my books into the right hands at the right time. Skip down, skip down. Um, and that's why for me, a book sold is not a book sold. A book sold is a prayer answered. I'm just gonna go through a few things that I've highlighted throughout the rest because it's a few pages long, but it's really cool. God is in the business of strategically positioning us at the right place at the right time, but it's up to us to seize these opportunities that are all around us all the time. Only God can make the appointment, but only you can keep the appointment. It's your job to recognize and respond to the God-ordained opportunities that come your way. God wants us to get where God wants us to get more than we want us to go where God wants us to go. We can't create divine appointments. All we can do is keep them. We can't plan God-ordained opportunities. All we can do is seize them. We can't perform miracles. All we can do is pray for them. Our job is to hear his voice. His job is to establish our steps. If we do our job, God will do his. So obviously there's a lot more. Um, yesterday is like even the intro to this, like so freaking, freaking good. I'll kind of go through my notes from yesterday just because I loved it so much. But the verse was Acts 10 2. Acts 10 2, he prayed to God regularly. He's like, when you pray to God regularly, irregular things begin to happen on a regular basis. God is always preparing us and positioning us for divine appointments. Prayer is how we discern our next move. The plans of God are revealed in the presence of God. I feel like that's also a question that you get all the time and that's the answer. We hit our knees. God will take us places we never imagined going by paths we didn't even know existed. One prayer can change the game. Um, talks about in Acts 10. It started with two people praying. Um, if you establish a prayer routine, your life will be anything but routine. You will go places, do things, and meet people you have no business going to, going to, doing, or meeting. You don't need to seek opportunity. You need to seek God. Don't worry about meeting with the right people. If you meet with God, God will make sure you meet with the right people at the right time. There's nobody that he doesn't know. He can help you find favor with anybody and everybody. Don't try to answer your own prayers. Don't try to do God's job for him. Stay humble, stay patient, stay focused, keep circling. So... Anyways, I love this book. I'll have it linked down below. It seriously is like the most credible thing. Part of me wishes I would have like waited and done it with you guys, but like I promise you I will continuously go through this probably for the rest of my life. Like that is how strongly I feel about this book. I was also just thinking of like how many like miracles and like reconciliation and just so many things that I've seen happen because of things that I like prayed from this book or like just an increased prayer life. Like literally the most crazy things ever. So Anyways, I'm going to keep reading. I need to read more of Esther because that's what we're going through in our Zoom Bible study this week. But I'm really, really excited. If you guys, um, this video goes up Wednesday, so it's on Tuesday night. So you guys can join the Facebook group down below. And that has all the info and the link. Obviously, anyone and everyone is welcome. So I'm going to keep reading. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that portion. Let me know if you guys did. Also, I'm constantly sharing this stuff to my Instagram story. So if you guys don't follow my Instagram, you should if you liked that because I constantly share that stuff there. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna keep reading. I will talk to you guys soon. I need to finish my coffee All right guys, I'm on Instagram live. I'm gonna um 
pour the rest of the smoothie so I can have this outside. But I've been on Instagram Live a lot lately. I have more of my smoothie, but I just got on Instagram Live and then Maddie from OK Sis ended up coming on and we basically had like a book club Instagram Live and I stayed on way longer because it was actually so fun. Anyways, I'm gonna go upstairs because I need to do some Amazon stuff. I need to look up new light fixtures because this, these have just gotta go. All right, everyone, I officially have switched to using the Kindle app to read on my iPad just because my Kindle gets here on Tuesday. So just by chance, I mean, I think I'm for sure gonna have to finish this because Lauren and I are starting a book together on Tuesday. Um, so I would need to be done with this anyways, but I'm just using the Kindle app now on because it's on my iPad and it'll be on my Kindle. You have to buy it. Um, I bought this book on Amazon on my laptop and then it downloaded it here. I don't know how you do it from your iPad. It's really weird. Anyways, I'm reading Normal People. Like I said, I did an Instagram live earlier with Maddie and she said this is her all-time favorite book and it's also a Hulu series. So I'm going to read this because she's just like raved about it and I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to go make some lunch and then probably head upstairs. Finally got my Amazon account back. Um, finding light fixtures is just like not fun. I wouldn't even say I look at any of them and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. I just like need these to be gone so i've been looking i haven't found anything that i love i know the kind of vibe that i like my mom oh my gosh coco literally looks crazy guys she just looked at me and look at her now what is she doing um anyways my mom was an interior designer so she still is like she still does design, design projects and stuff sometimes look at her now guys oh my gosh but i normally we have very different tastes so i pick out all of my own stuff um she didn't like really design any of this house, but I'll ask her for certain things or I'll have her look for me because that like, you know, that's literally what they do. But, oh my gosh, I just cannot get over her. Hi. Hi, girl. It's noon. I'm going to go downstairs and make some lunch. And then also I might even try to bring my umbrellas upstairs myself. I don't know how that would work. We'll see, but I'm going to take you guys with me because this is also kind of a what I eat today vlog. Let me know how you guys like these specifically um do you like them when i just do food or do you just like them throughout vlogs or whatever i've never really had an interest in doing or like what i eat like at least lately but i'm just cooking a lot or i'm making a lot of food today because i'm trying to get rid of stuff so i thought i would just show you guys so for lunch i'm just gonna make this little garbanzo or chickpea bowl with grapefruit avocado i squeeze the lemon on and then olive oil and salt and pepper i saw this on margot's story a few weeks ago and i've made it a few times i posted it to my instagram as well it is so easy it is actually like the perfect summer lunch especially when you're laying outside because it's really refreshing and it's not super heavy but it's really filling and then yeah it's just really freaking good so that's what i'm gonna make for lunch i'm also listening right now to the skinny confidential i actually have not been listening to skinny confidential lately which i normally never miss an episode but I've only been listening to like really chill podcast episodes. So like with friends and stuff. But anyways, I'm listening to that. And I'm going to make my cute little bowl. For their wedding day. The wedding day is not like a trial. It's not so here it is. And then I just kind of mix it all together. It's the quickest, easiest lunch. And it tastes amazing. But it's like the best summer lunch. Like I'm going to make this so much. Guys, I'm not very happy because this is supposed to be cream. This umbrella. And they gave me green. And I went on and the website, like nothing, it doesn't make sense. And then no, I have to pay for shipping to return these, which is like literally the price almost of the actual, like what I paid for this. So it's really annoying. I'm wondering if I can just get another actual like umbrella itself, like this part and just replace it. That's probably what I'm going to do um, for right now. But like, that's really, really unfortunate. Guys, I think I forgot to even show you that this has been pretty much filled up. I haven't finished it. I got really impatient. This is our afternoon snack. Alyssa has made it. Hey. My hose is still up there. Um, we're gonna, it's Sunday afternoon, so we're gonna have our Bud Light seltzers. I feel like Danielle and Brooke. This is the tanning oil that I've been using. It's not helping my Irish self, but it's not really the tanning oils, oils problem. It's more of a genetic thing. These rugs have gotta stop flipping. But that's there. I just threw that back there because I can't deal. But I did order already on Amazon like sandbag things that are coming tomorrow so I can finish that and then the other one will go there. 
I did open it and it was really big and great and it would be so relaxing for right now because you could definitely like read but obviously that can't happen because it will just fly everywhere guys Coco clearly wants to get in the pool with us and like who am I to deprive her I mean I feel like I don't know I think it's time I mean she's like literally staring at us she's just begging. smiling guys are you ready hi do you like the pool? Do you want to get in? Do you want to get in, Coco? I'm like hoping that she doesn't know, want to. I know, I'm kind of... Oh. Oh. Well, she's going to drink the water. Are you no. thirsty? We don't drink... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh we're over it. Oh. Totally oh. cool with me. Oh my god. Oh. Totally fine. I spent the afternoon laying out. Look at this. Yes, it's red, but that is a bit of a line. That is... Um, okay. It looked more drastic in person. But anyways, um... I'm gonna start on dinner. I'm not gonna do a cooking with me for this part of the vlog. I'm gonna put it on IGTV because I already showed you guys in a vlog. But also, I forgot to mention earlier, um, I haven't just had that lunch and a smoothie and coffee today. I also had toast um, and like some snacks here and there outside. We had like chips and stuff. I just don't want you guys to think that's like all I eat or anything like that. So I also had toast and then I also had um, like lime chips as we were. I've been kind of snacking up on the rooftop, but. We laid in the pool for a while, as you guys saw, and that was really great. Alyssa is showering. Um, oh my gosh, guys, Smart Sweets just sent me a package, and it's the best package ever. If you guys haven't tried these before, they're so good. The peach rings are by far my favorite. They are um, like healthier like snacks. Um, they're healthier like candy, essentially. So I haven't tried the gummy bears yet. The peach rings are my favorite. They have stuff that are like Swedish fish. Um, oh my gosh, Sour Blast Buddies. I actually haven't had a lot of these. I've had the, the sweet fish and the peach rings, and I love them, but they also have, like, Starburst ones, as you can see. I'm just so excited because these are so good, and Alyssa hasn't had any, so we're going to have them for dessert. They're just so freaking good, guys. Guys, I just made the best spicy fusilli I've ever made. It was just, I mean, I don't even know what to tell you. The best thing I've ever made. Um, my sink, my garbage disposal is broken. Don't want to talk about it. We're having our nice Sunday night dinner. This just... Wow, guys. So Not even humble at all. It's just nope. nope, don't know that. Incredible. It's really bright out. I wish it was an hour later. Um, we were in the pool like all day. Great investment. That thing's only like forty dollars. Can you believe that? The pool? Yeah. So nice. I'll have it linked below. Actually, I haven't been able to find them on Target the past few days, but I'll try my best and see if I can link it. I wonder if we like made it. No, it's like the same. I got a pool um, net so I can clean it out and stuff too in between like refilling it. The, the towels are really just everywhere. It is what it is, guys. Guys, I just can't stop just talking about my pasta. It's so good. The IGTV will be up by the time this vlog's up if you guys want the recipe. But, wow. I mean, I'm definitely eating like two servings of it. And it's just, I could eat more. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of hard, but it's just so freaking good wow so i really want a labradoodle or a golden doodle i know it's no surprise here guys listen to me though because obviously having a big dog is a lot different than having a small dog i'm under i'm aware and i thought i was gonna be traveling a lot when i moved here i don't have my place in la anymore we gave that up and i'm going to be still traveling a lot probably like once a month once every six weeks for like who knows how long but like my point is who even knows when I'll be able to do that because I literally just go to LA and New York So it could be quite some time. So I really want to go to do on a labradoodle My parents on the other hand will not just watch my dogs. It's very frustrating because they have a lot But also I'm just like Is that really true? And also I don't know I just like want a labradoodle or a golden doodle so bad. I cannot stop watching Samson the dude on Instagram as we know guys literally I'm so sorry to be that person, but have you ever seen anything cuter than this? The answer is no. I'm normally not the person who's like really obsessed with like cute photos of dogs or babies, but there's just something about Samson that just really has just really done something for me. I'm obsessed with him. So I really, 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 really want a Labradoodle. Alyssa, what's your vote? Yes. Are wow. you put in yes? Yes, so I asked you guys on Instagram and my story is Ridiculous right now, but 
85% of you have said yes. Let's see who said no. What the heck? I know her. That's rude. That's rude. I don't know, guys. Like, even after quarantine, I just been so... I'm such a homebody. I yeah. literally am always home. I should have done it at the beginning of quarantine. At this point. Labrador. Also got... Oh, my gosh. Did you know that when I moved... To Dallas, I didn't know that Susie Kicks was in te Texas or whatever. So I was like so sad thinking I'll never, I mean, I'm not that I'll never, but I won't have celebration cake. Guess what? Not true. Doodle Rock Rescue, Dallas, Texas. Uh, it's a doodle rescue. All right, guys, I'm back in my room. It is 8 p.m. Um, oh, yeah, Alyssa brought, that's my, co oh, my cousin, brought me some clothes back that she's had in mind. She just lives down the street. It is so nice living by so much family, but I think um, I just feel so good. You know, when you just spend like all day outside, then you shower and then you're just like playing music and cooking. It's like the best feeling ever. But it's 7.45, I'm already so tired. I'm just worn out. Back like a few weeks ago, before I was on the rooftop all the time and I couldn't sleep ever. The sun has really saved that problem. Guys, I want a mini golden doodle, I think, so bad. My family has a golden doodle and a labradoodle. They're like 13. We've had them for forever. The best dogs ever. And I just really want one. And I think it would be great. And it's really the perfect time, even though, like, our stay-at-home thing has been lifted. It's not like I'm really, like, leaving my house a crazy amount and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So... But I'm gonna start my book. I didn't get to start it at all because um, I just couldn't really read outside because I don't have my Kindle right now. So I'm gonna start the book that I got today. I'm really excited for that. Um, I need to finish it within like two days because I have to finish a new book on Tuesday. My Kindle comes on Tuesday, which I am so excited for. In my week in my life vlog, I'm gonna do a complete unboxing and it's gonna be absolutely incredible. I'm now finally starting my book. I'm really excited. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and comment January 2011 because that is the first chapter of this book if you guys made it this far. But I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.